Hi LEGO fans, I'm back with another one of the brand new LEGO Movie 2 sets and this is one I've been really looking forward to. This caught my eye as soon as I saw the initial pictures published online. It's definitely one of the more inventive sets of the 19 just released. So today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 70823 Emmett's Thricycle from the LEGO Movie 2. This is a 174 piece set featuring one minifigure. We have a brand new for 2019 Emmett minifigure, although technically he's a 2018 minifigure of course. After the phenomenal success of the double decker couch, Emmett has a new invention, the Thricycle. It's like a unicycle but with three wheels. It also comes with an alien invader that looks suspiciously like a Duplo brick. And it looks like we've got some kind of gas pump with lift, and I believe there's an interactive function here. I guess we'll find out more on the back of the box. Over here we get a much more complete overview of what's inside the box. We have somewhere to park the Thricycle for refuelling, and it's great to see the old school Octan logo. Thankfully the Thricycle has built in stabilisers so that we can display the build. I was a little bit worried about that. I guess this just confirms that the Alien Invader is made out of Lego bricks. And it looks like we have a fun interactive feature which I'll be demonstrating later in the video. One of the unusual things about this set is the shape of the box. But as we're going to tear this open, it doesn't really matter anymore. Here's everything that came inside the box. We have two numbered bags containing 174 LEGO elements. An 80 page instruction booklet. And of course the dreaded sticker sheet. I'm going to go ahead and put together the awesome Emmett's Ricicle and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build! And here is the completed 70823 Emmett's Thricycle. As you'd expect with a 174 piece set this wasn't too challenging to put together and the build time today was just under 19 minutes. The build essentially breaks down into five different components. We have a very worried looking Emmett minifigure, the particularly cool looking Thricycle, a very weathered vintage Octan gas pump, what seems to be a vehicle inspection ramp complete with catapult function and an alien invader which comes in the form of a Duplo brick. We're going to take a look at this guy first and then come back to the other components. Although this looks like quite a solid lump of plastic it is in fact made up of individual Lego bricks. The upper and lower parts are hinged together and this gives it a really pleasing chomping action. Inside the mouth we've got a couple of studs which are meant to look like the studs you get on Duplo bricks. These are made out of 1x1 studs and 1x1 tiles. The other thing you'll see inside the mouth is a clear slider which is just used to reinforce the joint. The eye is a circular piece which is mercifully printed and not stickered. There's nothing worse than putting stickers on round Lego elements. This also has a fun interactive feature and you can make the eye spin around by turning the thing at the back. I can't remember for the life of me what one of these is called but that's the thing that makes it go round. Although this doesn't look terribly exciting, it's a really innovative LEGO build. You'll notice that apart from the Duplo studs in the mouth, you can see no visible LEGO studs. And that's not the easiest thing in the world to build. While we have our Duplo alien invader friend at hand, I think it's time for a demonstration. This is the thing that looks like a vehicle lift that comes with this set. The lift itself is non-functional and purely there for decoration. This catapult on the other hand is totally functional. It's a very simple mechanism, you flick this piece here and I think you can imagine the rest. We get a spare rim, exactly the same as the one that comes on Emmett's Thricycle and that simply connects to the catapult. 
If my aim is good, and to be honest it probably isn't, we should be able to fire the rim at this Duplo alien monster. Let's give it a go! Well that worked, but it wasn't very dramatic, so let's try it again. That was much better! It's possible to disconnect the catapult from the ramp and move it to the other side. The connection is super simple and grips the accessory really well. In fact, you can even connect the vintage Octane gas pump to the set. As much of the LEGO Movie 2 is set in a dystopian Mad Max style world, you'll notice a lot of the accessories and even the characters have a very weather beaten appearance. Not least the super cool Apocalypseburg set which comes out on the 1st of February 2019. I can't wait to get my hands on that. The gas pump has an Octane logo which is visibly distressed. And yes, that is a round sticker on a round Lego piece and it was really frustrating to apply. Also a sticker is the decal on the front of the old fashioned pump. Recreating a dystopian look and feel, we've got a desert sand coloured base plate and a brown dried up plant. We do have a nozzle and hose for dispensing gas, but to be honest it's probably all dried up by now. The nozzle is connected to the pump using one of these whip elements. It's a cool little playset and I like the interactive function of the catapult. But to be truthful, you don't need this to make the thricycle stand up on its own. Speaking of which, let's take a look! So this is Emmett's Thrycicle, which I find a really pleasing and fun build. It's also quite tall and stands about 7 inches high, complete with the Emmett minifigure. There is of course somewhere for Emmett to stand and steer the Thrycicle, although it is unclear how he gets up there. There's also space at the back there for his good friend Planty. Planty also appears in Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket. At the back we have a brake light and an exhaust system, complete with smoke. And at the front we've got a single headlight and a binocular piece. I'm guessing that's the Thrycicle's grill or radiator, but it could equally be a pair of horns. I can imagine that three wheels kicks up quite a lot of dirt and we do have a mud guard at the front and the back to protect the rider. Emmett really has thought of everything. And then we come to the most exciting part of the build, the three wheels. Of course we have three wheels for a Thrycicle. Now these are not mounted directly and fixed to the side of the Thrycicle. These actually move around and that's good. Because the wheels aren't fixed in position, it means they can move up and down on the axle and they can rest on top of one another. This means if the one at the bottom is going around, all three of them go around. The other thing I really like about this build is the stabilizers. These enable the Thrycicle to stand unsupported. These are definitely not perfect, but they are pretty good. I was honestly expecting it to fall over then. When you want to play with the Thrycicle, you simply turn these around and then they don't get in the way and you can do this. The Thrycicle is definitely one of the more quirky builds I've seen from the LEGO Movie 2, but honestly that's what we expect. This is all about master builders making the most of a dystopian landscape. And what better invention to showcase the mind of a master builder than a crazy Thrycicle? Now he's not riding the Thrycicle, Emmett certainly looks a lot happier. Now I have mentioned this before in previous review videos, but the differences between Emmett in the LEGO Movie 2 sets and the LEGO Movie sets is very subtle. The Emmett on the left is from the LEGO Movie, and the Emmett on the right is from the LEGO Movie 2. If you look very very carefully you'll notice that the metal stripes on the new Emmett are distressed, and there's some visible wear to Emmett's belt. Apart from that and the change of expression, they are pretty much the same minifig. The same happens around the back. You'll notice the stripes on the new Emmett on the right are more distressed than the ones on the left. The facial expression we get on the Emmett from this pack is not one that I've seen before, so it might be an exclusive to this set. There is also a secondary expression that we saw earlier, and he looks a lot less happy. Now the hair piece here, I think is exactly identical to the one from the LEGO Movie 2. It shows Emmett with one of these almost classic LEGO haircuts, except he's got a slightly different one there. He's got a kind of cowlick at the back here. Um, really nice Emmett minifigure. I mean, he is pretty much the same. You're going to see him in most of the set. Let's back up just a little and um, yeah he is pretty much the same character in all of these sets you're gonna see him lots and lots of times but he does have some really nice printing I really like that metallic printing on there and we also get the same metallic printing on the back there you can see it gleaming in the lights. So that was set number 70823, Emmett's Thrycicle from the LEGO Movie 2. I really like this set and I think it comes in at a great price point. 
If you're buying this in the USA, you're looking at $14.99 plus tax. And if you live in Brexit Britain, this is a penny under £13. I think LEGO have created a really nicely balanced set here. It's a fun build that doesn't take too long to put together. I really like the innovation of the Thrycicle. Okay, it's a little bit light on minifigures, but we do of course get Emmett. And the Duplo Alien Invader is great fun. Also fun is the Garage Playset. I like the weathered dystopian theming of the gas pump, and the catapult that launches wheel rims works much better than I thought it would. I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO Movie 2 unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did and you want to be super awesome, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO Movie 2 reviews. I've got a bunch more of these sets that I'm working on and I'm going to be releasing reviews over the next few weeks. In fact, I really need to get a move on and get all of these done before the Apocalypse Berg set comes out. So thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.